So what's this all about? I'm sorry, dude. It looked like they were gonna win, okay? Well, you better jump off the King's bandwagon and right onto the Take That Damn Hat Off bandwagon. Dude, I'm not taking it off on camera. I look awful without a hat. Woo! Poop in my car! Are you just gonna get hammered? Get me a toaster. Magic Angel Robot from Winnipeg! What the hell are you talking about? This team is ruining my life! <laughs> better? A little. Uh the shootout over the LA Kings. This is awful. This is just terrible. Oh, it's just I've been doing this so much lately because they've been winning. Oh, I'm day to day. My shoulder's killing me. I could never be Katniss Everdeen, but I could be a Leaf Andrews. Tickled pink. At the result, the second half of the game as a whole could kick rocks, but I like the two points. First period, Grabinian Holzer gets his second assist. I'm starting to like him a lot. Daniel Winnick, 11th assist of the season. I really like him. But with his sixth goal, the puck's going in when he's on the ice. For 1.5 mil, he's been pretty nice. Sand Santo Claus is coming to town! See, I haven't really talked about Mike Santorelli much this season. And secretly, I've been like, I hope he's really good in December. And he has! You're the best Santa. And he's proving he is, in fact, real. So, contract extension, maybe? And assist on the second goal. But speaking of contract extension, the goal goes to Cody Frampton! I promise not to bring this up that much because, because, like, the Leafs have changed their philosophy and mindset since the time that this was proposed. But they almost traded Cody Franzen for Josh Georgia! And the only Christmas miracle reason that that trade didn't happen is because George's was like, no, I'd rather go to Buffalo. So the Leafs better thank the lucky stars because what the hell are the odds of that? And nice and late in the first period, so the Leafs go to the intermission fat and happy. Amazing because of how they, I'm just going to keep the hat on for the rest of the video, aren't I? Look at, okay, is this fixable? Is this, no, I'm just going to wear the hat. Amazing anyway, because the Leafs played less than 24 hours ago. So big first period. Carrying the momentum, shut him down for most of the second. I'm like, this is wicked. And then a thing happened. The refs missed a high stick call and Justin Williams scored. Hey, look, the refs missed a high stick call against the Leafs. Oh, dude, no. What? Now I owe the guys from the royalhalf.com five bucks. Why? They bet that you would make some sort of allusion to Carrie Fraser in this video, and I said no because I don't actually know who that is. So, anyway, like I said, stupid Justin Williams scores, and it's stupid shouldn't have counted, and then stupid. Stupid Dwight King got the tying goal late in the period. And it's extra stupid because he plays for the Kings and his name is King. No one thinks that's cute! And then all that momentum and holiday cheer I was talking about goes right out the window because they start the third period going, this is stupid. And then Jake Gardner leaves Gorbini and Holzer to guard the front of the net by himself, which is stupid. And stupid Marion Gabrick scored a stupid... Stupid goal and everything stupid. And now with the Kings holding the lead, the Leafs need someone. Someone with heart. Someone with passion and a will to win. Someone who has hockey for their middle name. Or at very least their last. Cody Franz and friggin' pay that guy. Sets up James Van Hockey. JVR, JVH, whatever. Just been giddy up hot as a pistol since I started calling him that. So assist to me. It makes sense. It, come on. It, it, come on. James Reimer shutting the door throughout the third period, and so we go to overtime. Scrambling front, Drew Doughty comes up with the puck. Great chance. Stopped by Optimus Rhyme. Oh, I wish I was at that game. Kaylee Humphreys would have scored that. Topical. So we go to the shootout. Joffrey Lupul in alone, because that's kind of in the rules for the shootout. Scores! But he's the only Leaf that would score. I mean, Jonathan Quick is pretty good. He allowed three goals in this one. I'm surprised he didn't allow eight. The Leafs had some ace scoring chances, especially in the first period. It should have been like 5 nothing after one. So if Quick is going to be good at one end of the ice, so at the other end of the ice, you need a magic angel robot from Winnipeg. Actually, he's from Morwina. Yeah, but nobody knows where that is, so shut up. Fun fact, after his rookie season, I got to interview James Reimer. And I'm a pompous ass, so I have the article framed on my wall. Do you know what he said about Morwina, Manitoba? You're driving on a gravel road. You come up to a church on the left side and a small school on the right-hand side. Then you keep on going, and that's Morwina, Manitoba. That is why he is a magic angel robot from, for all intents and purposes, Winnipeg. One, two, three stops in the shootout. Mwah! Kiss that glove, Jimmy. Look, the Leafs have been extremely hot lately. And when the Leafs win, it's a lot of fun. Especially when they beat the defending Stanley Cup champions. Come on. And some people have been saying things about the Leafs' hot streak. I'm, I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not even going to say it in this video. But people have been saying things. And to those people, I would say, stop that, it's almost Christmas. So speaking of this hot streak, question of the game. Haven't done that in a little bit. What has been the key? Now, I don't know if this has been the key, but I can tell you it's something I like. The fourth line. One very ominous thing I've heard said about the Kings is the waves just never stop. 
this line's going over the boards. They attack. Then it's the next line. They go over the boards and they attack. And then the third line. And then the fourth line. It doesn't stop. Now the Leafs aren't perfect. But the first line, even though their performance is often up and down, they have lethal potential. The second line is ever morphing, but it's always pretty decent. Third line, also ever morphing, but also pretty decent. And the fourth line, oh, it's pretty damn good for a fourth line. They're just energy all the time. 400 babies. And this is a team that doesn't even have Leo Komarov in the lineup. That's captain energy. That little Estonian ball of energy and hatred. I likes what I see out of the Toronto Maple Leafs. So please don't stop the ride. This is way too much fun. Oh, and one last thing before we go. A few videos Years ago I asked you, hey, can you wish my mom a happy birthday? Belated birthday because I'm an awful son. A lot of you did and thank you very much, but can you do something else for me please? There's an LA Kings fan named Alyssa. She was rushed to the hospital a few days ago. Not fun. But I know she watches these videos and I know she's going to be watching this one because it's against the Kings. So if you could, please wish Alyssa well. I know she'd appreciate it. Get well soon, Alyssa.